Hello internet. Today I'm going to be making some soap with 18 bar mold, but I want to match the size bar to the customer I'm selling to. I want to have it cost effective so where the customer is going to still buy it. And if he buys it, it's going to increase my turnover ratio and the higher my turnover ratio is, the more likelihood I'm going to sell the bar soap. <clears throat> I don't want to sell it too expensively and I don't want to sell it too cheap and I want the size of the bar to match the price. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me show you how I'm doing it. This is what I'm going to do. This is my recipe I'm making right here. See this price right here? This is going to change as my, depending on which mold I use. I'm going to use the 18 bar mold, but I certainly don't want to sell, make a 2 ounce bar. So I'm going to increase the oils and just watch that price right here. I'm going to increase it to 40 ounces. See how the prices increase? So I'm going to be making a 18 bar mold, so this is what I'm going to do. 18 bars, I want to sell it for $4 because every time I increase this dollar amount of my bar, I'm going to lose customers. So for every dollar I cheapen it, the more customers I get. So 18 times 4, that's my target goal I want to sell it for. So that 18 bar mold is going to make me $72. I have to make at least two and a half times more than what I make it for. So I'm going to divide that by two and a half. So I don't want to spend no more than $28.80. So back to the chart we go. Right now it's at $17.69. So I'm going to increase the size of the bar. I ah, know, I hate that auto fill. $21.50. So I can go higher. So we'll try 60 ounces. 25.34 right there. See? And I want to sell five ounce bars so I can increase it even more. Six, let's try 65 ounces. <clears throat> And that's getting better. That's still not at my target goal. So right now it's at five ounces. So let's try 60, I don't know, 67. $28.02 and it'll make me five ounces. And what was it again? $28.80. So I can spend a little bit more. Let's try 68 ounces of oil. $28.40. That's big enough. Five, it'll come out and be five ounce, five and a quarter ounces. Now, for my recipe, I've made this recipe previously. It's highly conditioning, but I took a bath with it last night. Let me show you the bar. This one right here, it was extremely conditioning. It was so much though, I couldn't even sleep. In fact, it wasn't in a bad way. It's just that me as a man, I don't want to feel that much conditioning. I want to have good skin, but I don't want to feel it when I'm sleeping. Maybe a woman wants to. I don't know. I'm going to have to get my wife to try it to tell me what she thinks, but it smells all womanly. And it conditions you, and boy, it'll leave your skin shining. But me as a man, I might want to decrease it. So I'm going to de decrease this by 2%. That, see my little thing right here? That means I need to increase it somewhere. So, Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't, it was 12, so now I want to make it 10. 
Okay, now I need to increase something by 2%. So that's going to be my apricot oil. I'm going to increase that to 62. All right, now that I've rearranged the numbers, it says 27.69. So I can spend a little bit more. So I'm going to increase that to 69 ounces. And that gives me 5.33 ounces. I can spend just a little bit more. Let's try 69.5. Oh, let's try 70 ounces. Even though it says 70 ounces, the spreadsheet's going to round it off. $28.44. Now it's 5.41 ounces. So now I can sell these big bars for four dollars a piece and still make two and a half times more than I want and that will allow me to buy more oil pocket a little bit of money and make more people happy because they're buying a reasonable amount at a reasonable price and I see my price right here and that's it that's all I have to do. It's pretty easy. And all I've got to say is, through these hands, God creates cleanliness. Let's make soap.